everybody ain't gonna vibe with me. I'm not gonna vibe with everybody. Everybody ain't gonna feel my personality. I'm not gonna feel everybody else's person. Like, it is what it is. What's for you will be for you. And like I said, I only got a few that I deal with. Too much fake love out here, and I don't need it. Like, I'm good. I'm good with the few that show me real love. That's genuine, you know? I'm cool. I'm one of them females that I'm all right with being disliked by people. I'm okay with walking past a crowd of motherfuckers I know that don't like me. I'm good with that. Because guess what? I'm still going to hold my head up when I walk past. I'll never put my head down. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to be telling you guys a little bit about myself. I go by Lovely V. And the V stands for my real name, which is Vermonica. I don't like nobody using my government name. I just went with Lovely V. And um, the plus five is my five children. So you get a feel of me and my kids. You know, they ain't really been on my channel as much. But we definitely gonna get there, okay? We definitely gonna get there. So yeah, I was thinking to myself, let me kind of like introduce myself to uh, people on my channel. I normally don't talk in my videos, and that's only because my kids, you know, my background be so noisy and loud like it is right now. But that's why I don't do much talking in my videos. But yeah, I'm just going to try to think of some questions on the top of my head and talk about a few things. Like I said, I'm going to let y'all try to get a little feel of me. So, where I'm from, I'm from Missouri. Show me state. I'm 26 years old. I'm yeah, I'm on camera. Yeah, I'm See, th th that's why I don't like talking because it's too many interruptions, you know. That's why I don't do the talking. Like I said, my background is forever something going on. What was I saying? But I'm 26 years old. And again, five kids. I started having kids at the age of 19. And every year, I kept getting pregnant. Oldest, she is 17. I mean, <laughs> my oldest is seven. I'm really trying to rush time. I know the fuck better than that one. But yeah, um, I'm just going to be all over the place. Because like I said, these are kind of like questions that are just popping up at the top of my head. Um, I'm 26. Five kids. I live in Missouri. I'm short as fuck. I'm small. Like I said, I just weigh 120. Um, some people can't even believe that I even got so many kids. I'd be in a store, they'd be like, all oh, those is yours? I'd be like, every single last one of them. They mine. Sure is. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm trying to think of questions, y'all. Like, kind of bear with me, because I'm, I'm really trying to think of some questions that y'all may have for me. I'm not good when it comes down to doing makeup. I'm not even that good when it comes down to doing hair. But I don't like going to no salon. I like to go ahead and just do what I have to do for myself, do my own hair. You know, y'all know how I go. I don't like being around people like that, you know. My anxiety really fucks with me. So I just like to be comfortable and do my own thing, you know. What made me want to start a YouTube channel? What made me want to start a YouTube channel? Let's see. I be in the house since I am a stay-at-home mom. I don't be having nothing else to do, so I like doing a YouTube, and as y'all can tell, I do it anyways. I don't have that many subscribers, but I still keep posting videos because I like it. Like, it's something that feel my me time, you know. This is something that that's fun to me. I like it. So, even if I don't got the subscribers, the, even if I don't got the subscribers, I'm still cool with just posting my uh, videos and the little the little views I get is cool with me, you know. I ain't big on attention. It is what it is. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, that's cool. It's no big deal. Uh, I'm just going to be talking to y'all because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of trying to sit up here and think of questions that I may need to answer for y'all. But, yeah, um, I'm trying to get back to going to school. I'm thinking about doing medical and billing and coding. 
I'm thinking about it. I've been doing a lot of research on it, so hopefully that's what I hopefully that's what I achieve. You know, I'm trying to get a lot of certificates under my belt. I'm just not quite. It's a shame that I'm down there 30. I'm 26 years old, and I'm not quite sure what it is yet that interests me enough to to stick with it. You know, I'm not quite sure what what I want to do with myself, and I know that's kind of sad. With me being 26, I still I'm like I'm trying to figure it out. I don't want to work till I die. I'm not one of the people that just feel like I gotta go out there and work till I die. Like. I really want to work and like what I'm doing and I'm still trying to figure it out what it is I like to do and you know it's multiple things I like to do but it's something that I want I want to see what I can make a career out of basically and I really just I'm still kind of like uh I don't know I don't really know exactly what it is I don't really know what's my talent you get what I'm saying being a mama I'm a great mom you know I even thought about adopting children because I got that much love in my heart you know I did think about a daycare I wanted to be a daycare provider but with five kids dog I said screw that my patients be my patients be be up the wolf my kids be they be doing it boy so yeah like I said I'm just really trying to figure it all out and this YouTube thing is fun to me it ain't nothing that I'm just trying to look for no money it ain't it's just something that's fun. It's something that occupies my me time. And, yeah, that's just what it is. Uh, am I married? I am not married. Um, I'm not married. But I am in a relationship. Been in a relationship for uh, 11 years. I've been with my kid's daddy. And the, the whole marriage part, I know it probably don't make sense to a lot of y'all. Like, damn, y'all been together 11 years. Y'all not, you not, you got five kids. That's a deal. Wada wada, da 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 da. What's that about? We done talked about marriage, and we both agree that if it happens, it happens. Marriage is it's overrated, anyways, and it ain't even because of that. Because you know, it's just I'm not one of them females that just feel like, oh, he need to marry me. He need to put a ring on it. You know, he, it is what it is. As long as you got that bond, I mean, the title of being somebody wife it really don't matter. You know, you got that understanding, you got that bond. That's all that matters, you know. So, yeah, like, marriage, if it come, it come. If not, like I said, I'm not one of them females that's going to sit in the corner and cry about being somebody's wife. Like, yeah. And, and I ain't trying to sound too retarded or, you know, have y'all losing faith in what y'all believe in. But that's just how I feel. That's my own preference. But, uh, yeah, y'all can see I'm just brushing this little green here. <sighs> but, yeah, y'all, um, don't pay attention to my underarms. I know I be needing to shave, but I be lazy. I do, I be lazy. So, yeah, don't bash me about my underarms. Just leave me alone, okay? I'm really trying to think what I need to say to y'all. Because this is just like an introduction. I know I should have did this a long time ago. But, again, I procrastinate a little too much about certain things, just like I'm procrastinating about getting my room together, because I got shit everywhere. I'm a procrastinating ass person. I hate it, but, yeah. I would have had my kids in the video with me, but they clean in their room, and I ain't even trying to distract them right now. Where's my guy being in my videos? He got anxiety, too. Like, he... He got it worse than me. Like, he don't do videos and stuff for real. He will. But it ain't nothing that I'm just going to pressure him to just be jumping in my videos. So, it's all it's all good. Yeah, I, I would like for y'all to comment. Let me know what else would y'all like to see. Like, pranks. I ain't going to even lie. I'm not even into all that shit. Like, I ain't even into pranks. I feel like it's all fake. I could do it. But I'd rather not, because I just feel like it's not even that on me, you know. Oh, you should do pranks and stuff like that. Maybe one day I might. But I ain't good with that stuff. I ain't good with pranks and stuff. Um, I don't have that many friends. I only kick it with two, three females. And because I just hate drama, 
I hate drama. I hate the fake shit. Everybody ain't gonna vibe with me. I'm not gonna vibe with everybody. Everybody ain't gonna feel my personality. I'm not gonna feel everybody else's personality. Like, it is what it is. What's for you will be for you. And like I said, I only got a few that I deal with. So, um, and you'll, you'll see me by myself majority of the time. I'm not never with a crowd of people. Like, too much fake love out here, and I don't need it. Like, I'm good. I'm good with the few that show me real love. That's genuine, you know. I'm cool. I'm one of them females that I'm all right with being disliked by people. I'm okay with walking past a crowd of motherfuckers I know that don't like me. I'm good with that. Because guess what? I'm still going to hold my head up when I walk past. I never put my head down. Not give a fuck. And not give a fuck and keep walking. Just keep walking on the ass. I don't know. Is it just me or do it just seem like this world just don't have no... It ain't meaningful no more. It's like nothing is meaningful no more. It's like love ain't meaningful. Family not meaningful. Everything just... It just don't even matter no more. It's like everybody moving so funny. Like everything is just... Oh man, like... Everything being exposed. It's... It's just no realness out here no more. Like... It's no genuine connections no more. It's like it's always somebody out to get somebody. It's always somebody moving jealous. It's always some type of competition. You know, and especially with, with black people, it's always competition. It's always a little hate towards your own people because you don't want them doing better than you. Like, this world, like, it's, I really don't know. I just don't know what to say sometimes about it because how I really feel I never get deep with y'all on that level. But it's crazy and it's scary. And then especially when you don't brought babies in the world, you know, I worry about my kids every day. Like, I worry about them. And, yeah, I do. I put it in God's hands. I do have faith in God. I do put it in God's hands. But at the end of the day, trying to get this hair out of my face. But, yeah, at the end of the day, it's still, like, crosses my mind, like my babies. I don't worry about myself the way I worry about my babies. Because I know what type of world we in, and that worries me, you know. That worries me that I can protect them to a certain limit. I can't protect them all the way through. And when I say it like that, it's only so much as a human being you can do, you know. And I worry every day about my babies. I do, y'all. And I just wish I made better decisions. Like, I was one of them females started out early trying to look for love. And I think that got a lot to do with my daddy not being around. So, yeah, like, I just went out there trying to look for love and trying to feel that male attention. You know, trying to fill that void of having that male attention. And, yeah, like, I just wish I knew a lot of stuff like I know now because I don't regret my kids, but I would have been so much careful. I would have been so much careful. I like, the unpredict I, I, I like the unpredictable. I don't like predictable shit. You know what I'm saying? If I'm watching a movie, I don't like to already know what's going to happen. I like mystery. I like to not know. But some shit be so predictable if I... Oh, I like to not know. I don't like shit to be repetitive, you know. Y'all, being a mama of five kids, being a mama at an early age, and yeah, 26, I'm still young. Like, I am. Like, I started, my first child was at the age of 19. I'm just 26. I'm, that's still young. And being a mama of so many kids at an early age, um, a lot of women, I don't hear talk about this, but it is mentally draining. Like, it really can drain you. You got to have patience. That's why people say kids ain't for everybody because it ain't. Because it ain't. It will mentally drain you. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you don't have a big support system. You ain't getting the help, you know. You ain't getting the help that you need. You ain't getting a little break here and there. And it ain't nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault that you had kids, but like I said, you got to be mentally prepared to have children because it's draining. It really is. Like, um, that's why I thank God for just allowing me to have the patience that I have, you know, 
for my kids because it is really mentally draining. Some days I just don't even be feeling like being a mama. Like, and that ain't even no dad be this shit. It's just like, God, it's draining. But I'm the best I can be to my children. But I just wanted to speak on that about the draining part. It's something you got to think about. Having kids is something you got to think about, period. You got to be careful who you had kids with. You got to be thinking about your support system. You got to, it's a lot to it. Like, it's a lot to it. So, like I said, mentally prepare yourself for children. So, I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm mentally prepared. I deal with it. Even when it get hard, I deal with it. But yeah, y'all, I, I think I done spoke on what I need to speak on. I done said what, whatever came to my mind. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Show me and my baby some love. And yeah, comment below whatever you need to say to me. Don't hesitate to comment. Say whatever you have to say. Thanks for watching again. Peace.